I never pictured going to another Olympic Games after Tokyo just because the circumstances. I never thought I would go back in the gym again, be twisting, feel free. The recovery. I definitely have to take care of recovery mentally, physically. Did you know that Simone Biles is back and better than ever? After a stunning comeback, she's set to dominate the Paris 2024 Olympics, facing her fiercest rival, Rebecca Andrade. With her crazy Yurchenko double pike, Simone is ready to reclaim her throne. Can anyone truly challenge her reign? Simone Biles is more than just a gymnast. She's a phenomenon. Ever since she burst onto the scene, Biles has been redefining what's possible in gymnastics. With a combination of power, grace, and technical precision, she's won an astounding number of medals and broken countless records. Biles isn't just winning, she's setting new standards. Do you remember when she first started pulling off those incredible moves that left everyone's jaws on the floor? It was like watching history in the making every time she stepped onto the mat. And you could see Simone there cheering her on, congratulating her for stepping in and doing so well for the team. All of this, we should mention, comes after a pretty rocky performance during the preliminaries where we saw Simone Biles taking to Instagram to say she felt like she had the weight of the world on her shoulders. She talked about how much pressure. But after the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, where she faced the twisties, a condition that makes a gymnast lose their sense of space and coordination midair. Biles decided to take a step back. It wasn't just a physical challenge, it was a massive mental hurdle. The world watched as she made the difficult decision to prioritize her mental health over competing. This wasn't an easy call for someone who had become synonymous with winning. Yet, it was a powerful reminder that even the greatest athletes are human too. She took two years off to focus on her well-being a move that sparked important conversations about mental health in sports. Has withdrawn from the team final competition due to a medical issue, they say. She will be assessed daily to determine medical clearance for future competitions. We know that this happened following a rough performance on the vault just moments ago. She was seen walking off the floor, huddling with her teammates, and then speaking with her trainer. After that, we saw... During her break, Biles worked hard, not just on her physical recovery, but on regaining her mental strength. She openly discussed her struggles, helping to destigmatize mental health issues and showing that seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. This period of introspection and self-care was crucial. It wasn't just about getting back to a place where she could compete again. It was about finding joy and freedom in gymnastics once more. Let me tell you about Rebecca Andrade. Simone Biles' biggest rival, and an incredible gymnast in her own right. Rebecca burst into the global spotlight at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, where she won the gold medal on vault. This victory wasn't just a personal triumph, it was a historic moment for Brazil, marking their first ever Olympic gymnastics gold. Rebecca's performance was stunning, showcasing her blend of power and grace. She has this elegant style that captivates the audience and leaves everyone in awe. Now, the rivalry between Simone and Rebecca is something straight out of a sports drama. These two have faced off in several key competitions, with the 2023 World Championships being one of the most memorable. At that event, both gymnasts refused to give an inch. Simone, with her explosive power and almost superhuman ability to execute incredibly difficult moves, went head-to-head -head with Rebecca's fluid elegance and technical precision. It was a battle for the ages, and neither one was willing to back down. Watching them compete, you could feel the tension and the mutual respect between them. Simone's strength lies in her unparalleled power. She's known for pulling off moves that no other gymnast even dares to attempt. Her Yurchenko double pike, for example, is a move that requires immense strength and impeccable timing. It's a jaw-dropping sight, and when Simone lands it perfectly, the crowd goes wild. Her routines are packed with difficulty, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in gymnastics. On the other hand, Rebecca brings a certain elegance to her performances that is equally mesmerizing. Her Cheng Vault, which won her the gold in Tokyo, is a perfect example of her style. It's not just about the difficulty, it's about the execution. Rebecca performs with such grace and precision that her routines look almost effortless. 
even though they are anything but. Her movements are smooth and fluid, making her performances a delight to watch. Their contrasting styles make the rivalry even more fascinating. Simone's routines are all about power and pushing the limits, while Rebecca's are a display of elegance and technical mastery. This dynamic creates a thrilling competition every time they face off. Fans from all over the world are drawn to their battles, eagerly watching to see who will come out on top. The excitement for the Paris 2024 Olympics is off the charts, especially within the gymnastics community. Everyone's buzzing about the upcoming showdown between Simone Biles and Rebecca Andrade. It's like waiting for the climax of an epic saga. Both gymnasts have been at the top of their game, and the thought of them competing on the world's biggest stage again is thrilling. Social media is ablaze with anticipation. Fans and experts alike are weighing in, sharing their thoughts and predictions. One Instagram post from Planet of Gymnastics captured the hype with a video comparing Simone's and Rebecca's vault routines. The caption said it all. What a time to watch women's sport. Comments flooded in, with fans expressing their excitement and debating who might come out on top. One fan, EVVCRV, confidently stated, Biles has no competition on the all-around IMO, highlighting the belief in Simone's dominance. Another fan, Sue Ellen, captured the mixed emotions of many by saying, A show for the ages for sure, love them both. Experts are chiming in too. They're analyzing every detail of Simona's Yurchenko double pike and Rebecca's Cheng. The Yurchenko double pike is a beast of a move requiring incredible power and precision. When Simone executes it flawlessly, it's like watching a superhero in action. Her ability to perform this vault without her coach nearby, as she did at the Core Hydration Classic, sent a clear message to her competitors. She's back and better than ever. Rebecca's Cheng Vault, on the other hand, is a masterpiece of elegance and technical skill. It's a complex vault that demands a high level of control and grace and Rebecca performs it with such smoothness that it looks almost effortless. Her execution is so clean and precise that it leaves the audience and judges alike in awe. The Cheng earned her the gold in Tokyo, proving she was a force to be reckoned with. The anticipation for their rematch is building, with fans from around the world eagerly awaiting the competition. Gymnastics enthusiasts are predicting that this could be one of the most memorable events in Olympic history. Faith, a dedicated follower of the sport, summed it up perfectly. It's gonna be epic, I just know it. And she's not alone in that sentiment. Let's talk about the US women's gymnastics team and their quest for redemption at the Paris 2024 Olympics. If you remember, the Tokyo 2020 Olympics were quite a roller coaster for them. Simone Biles, already the most decorated gymnast in history, faced the twisties, a mental block that forced her to withdraw from several events. This unexpected turn of events left the team shaken. Despite the challenges, they still managed to clinch the silver medal in the team event, but it was clear that they had more to give. That silver medal, while an incredible achievement, left a lingering feeling of unfinished business. Now, as we look ahead to Paris 2024, the US team is on a mission to reclaim its spot at the top. The roster is a fantastic mix of experienced Olympians and fresh new talent. Simone Biles is, of course, leading the charge. Her triumphant return to competition after a two-year hiatus has been nothing short of inspiring. Winning the US Olympic team trials by more than five points, she's shown the world that she's back and ready to dominate. Joining Simone are some familiar faces. Suni Lee, the all-around gold medalist from Tokyo, is back and eager to perform in front of a global audience once again. Her journey from winning gold in Tokyo to returning for another Olympics is a testament to her dedication and passion for the sport. Jordan Childs and Jade Carey, both Olympic veterans, are also returning. Their experience and resilience add incredible depth to the team. Jordan's powerful routines and Jade's stunning floor exercises are always crowd-pleasers. Adding a fresh twist to the team is newcomer Hesley Rivera, who just turned 16 in June, her inclusion in the team brings a new energy and enthusiasm. It's exciting to see how she'll perform on the world's biggest stage. Additionally, Jocelyn Robertson and Leanne Wong are traveling as alternates, 
ready to step in if needed. Their presence ensures that the team is well prepared for any situation. Simone Biles' role goes beyond just competing. She's become a mentor and leader for the team. Her experience and wisdom are invaluable, especially for the younger gymnasts. Simone's journey, particularly her openness about mental health, has made her an inspiration not just in gymnastics, but in sports overall. She's shown that it's okay to take a step back, to focus on oneself, and to come back stronger. The significance of having Biles lead the team can't be overstated. She embodies resilience, strength, and excellence. Her leadership helps build a strong, cohesive team spirit. The other gymnasts look up to her, not just for her incredible skills, but for her courage and authenticity. As they head to Paris, the team is united in their goal, redemption. They're ready to prove that they're better athletes, more prepared, and more determined than ever. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.